Did you notice that since this patch that came out today, raid performance is even worse than it was before? No, it isn't just you. Raid performance is worse than it was before. And I spent hours of my stream tonight analyzing it from every angle, testing every add-on, disabling add-ons, testing graphic settings, comparing to last raid and this raid, even debugging tools like attaching a driver debugger to the engine itself to monitor for any obvious signs of issues with the engine. And I basically came down to the conclusion that something is eating more CPU in this patch than the previous patch. I don't know what, but it's affecting performance in raids in a very adverse way. Like right here in this video in my stream, I was getting 23 FPS in an intermission on Silken Court. My FPS has never been that low in that fight on any graphic setting. And I'm using the same graphic settings, same add-ons, same computer as last week. And last week I did not have these issues. And this week, the FPS was in a toilet from these uh, frontal animations you see here. It's basically, to me, it's, to me, it's like, nine, look, 19 FPS, 20 FPS. It's like, it was like playing, playing a slideshow. And even out of that intermission, I was averaging like 25, to like 40, oh, I'm not out of the intermission yet. It's tanking again. But this visual is top tanking performance massively. And it's not just this visual. It's across the whole raid. Many visuals, especially web-like visuals, something changed in this patch. And the visuals are just, or not the visual, the frames are just abysmal. Even on higher end uh, hardware. I know some of you are going to be in the comments and be like, oh, it's because you're on a Mac. This is affecting half the raid. They weren't all on Macs. They were on varying PCs from like mid range to top end. And this Mac I'm on is a beast. Normally, when I'm on this fight, I want 50, 60 FPS at 4K ultra settings. I might not be locked at 60, I might have some frame drops, but never like that never to sub 20 on this fight never ever and i did tests i disabled all add-ons and tested i changed settings i turned graphic settings down and i got some frames back turning graphic settings down but i still wasn't getting the same level of performance i was getting last week and i checked the cpu and gpu usage both out of game and in game. There's an in game tool I showed in previous videos where you can do GX frame stats. And it was showing that the frame time with CPU was really high and the GPU was at zero MS, meaning the, Z the GPU was looking for or waiting for work from the CPU, but the CPU was so bogged down that the frames were dropping because uh, there wasn't enough work for the GPU to even do because the CPU was being bogged down by something in this patch. And I did tons of testing. I, mean, I analyzed the auto game too. Places I was dropping to 40 FPS. Like I, I could stand in front of the raid, not even in combat, just in front of the raid, looking out the door. 40 FPS. GPU utilization, 20%. And nothing looked out of ordinary with the CPU utilization either. But I also got a 16 core CPU that's uh, beasty as hell. But this game was only going to use like two, maybe three cores at a time. And not very efficiently either. They've had it's a lot of multi-threading since Legion and uh, more in Battle for Azeroth, but certainly not enough. The game still has a long way to go. And sadly, they're not making very good pace on that. But this patch went in the wrong direction. I don't know what they did, but something was bogging the CPU down. And it wasn't the engine. I don't think the engine directly was responsible. It was something else probably using the CPU in a bad way. And the engine suffered for it. I remember this has happened before in the past where they had a bug. To where like a certain like they had a bug in the engine or not the engine in the game where like a thread was broken and staying at 100 percent at all times but since the game only uses so many threads that was just one less thread available to everything else including the engine so the performance was bad and when blizzard finally found that 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 bug it was a thread that forgot to call wait when it wasn't in use so basically it was a thread that was basically saying Always busy, always busy, always busy. Because it never got uh, put in the wait status, which, if you're a programmer, you know what I'm talking about. It never went into a wait status, so the thread can idle until it was needed again. And I'm not saying this is the, bug, the same bug here, but, like, it's one case example where something could occur to where, you know, 
any one thing they add in this patch could affect the engine this adversely if there was a single mistake somewhere in the code to where a function is running and doesn't stop running because it something is wrong with it. So anyways, they need to go in and look at this patch and figure out what is going on because something is definitely going on. And as I said, I tested without add-ons and with various settings. I eventually achieved a point late in the video where I was getting, I was kind of narrowing down some settings that worked better, but I was also on a boss that was less performance than this. Like this boss was bad. Queen Anserik was bad. In fact, after we killed this boss, we did like three pulls in Queen Anserik, and they were like, this isn't working. We'll come back Thursday. Maybe it'll be fixed by Thursday. There was too many people lagging and freezing it to the point where they were even disconnecting because their frames were so bad. And they were not that bad last week. Now, mind you, Anserik and this boss are bad at FPS in general. Don't get me wrong. If you have a low-end PC, these bosses have always been bad for you. But now they're bad for everybody. Low and high end. Unless you're like super, super high end. But this needs to be looked at by Blizzard ASAP. Because something is going on here. And no, it's not just you. And this is coming from someone who knows a lot about the engine, knows a lot about add ons, knows a lot about how this game works. Like, I ran trouble, all the troubleshooting steps that anyone would give you. And I would give you. If you came into my video and told me this patch is tanking your FPS, my response to you would be, I know. There's nothing I can do about it. Blizzard broke something. But that's not all they broke in this patch. I want to talk about some other things in this patch that they broke. And I'm going to use this fight as an example. Notice here how a noob is here. And other boss is gone. Yeah, they fixed this bug about two, three weeks ago, maybe. I forget when, but they fixed it with a hot fix. It's a bug to where instead of going to the middle of the room and shielding on the second intermission, he forgets to. That other boss leaves and he just stays active. Yeah, that bug is back. And from what I've seen on, on Twitter, some data miners are talking about it. They never synced the last two hot fixes to the PTR. So basically, anything that's been fixed on live wasn't fixed on the PTR. And what they did when the patch went live, they took what was on the PTR and overwrote what was on live. And what that meant was that any hotfixes that weren't merged to the PTR were lost, like this one. That is a colossal failure, in my opinion. Like, in general, this patch, between the anniversary event video, which you've probably seen by now, and this stuff, I don't know what happened with the, the process and pipeline of this deployment, but there were some serious failures in the testing and deployment in this patch that caused regressions or just bugs that should not have happened. And I'm not really saying this is like, I'm not trying to say the de devs are stupid or dumb or anything like that. Sometimes this happens. Maybe there's miscommunication. Maybe they're on a time, time constraint where... Uh, one of their bosses were like, you have two hours to do this. And they're like, but we need five. You have two. That's happened before. That happened with the Dragonflight launch. It's public knowledge at this point. There were people who left Blizzard who talked about this and said, they repeatedly told their managers over and over again, we need more time. This isn't ready. We need more time. We need more time. We need more time. And their manager said, no. Bobby needs his bonus this... Uh, for quarter four, he's either a yacht buy. They didn't actually say those terms. You know, I'm, I'm being an asshole a little bit, but point being, leadership was responsible, not the developers. This game has many developers on it that are capable, intelligent, and they know what they're doing. Oftentimes, when these failures occur, it's somewhere higher up where the problem is. And I don't, I can't say where the problem is, but. This patch should not have gone live this way. And that's all I really have to say about it. And I hope to see better from Blizzard. But I do have a deep, deep concern that this is what we're going to see going forward because they're spread thin. Because they had the ambition to say, we're going to do three expansions at the same time. The same amount of staff. No, actually left staff, less staff, excuse me. They've been laying people off, not hiring people. Despite the fact they now have three times the work. 
They're trying to work on three expansions at the same time, which means that while this patch is being tested on the PTR, they're already working on the next patch, probably the next two or three patches. They probably even got artists who are already done drawing the art for this expansion in its entirety and working on Midnight or the third expansion. Like they're they're clucking so much at once that I have a fear that when they when they turn out this content at the pace and they're turning content out at, the quality is going to continue to get worse and worse. The game's going to become more and more buggy, more and more unstable, and run worse and worse because they are spread too thin and corporate greed at the highest level is causing them to not have the help and support they need to do a better job. They're just saying, get it done with what you have. And if the devs say, we don't have enough, they're told, tough shit, get it done. Oh, while also making about 40% less than the rest of the inner, inner industry. Which is also why Blizzard is one of the easiest companies in the industry to poach from. So, yeah. It also means they have a hard time uh, with retention in general. They have, they have people of high skill leaving constantly. And new people coming in that use this company as a stepping stone until they're poached by someone else, etc. That's also a revolving door. Like, there's, some, there's a lot of issues basically going on here. I'm not happy about it. I'm kind of like airing out in this video a little bit. But yeah, this is the state of World of Warcraft right now, and it's like... It's problematic. Anyways, that's all I really have to say in this video. I wanted to give like a... Quick shout out to the devs that work hard in this game and say, I see you. I know, I, I've heard from you. I've talked to some of you. I know what you're going through, and I don't blame you for this. This is not your fault. But it needs to be fixed somehow. And I really hope that something improves going forward because this is causing a bad player experience. And I expect better from Blizzard. There used to be a Blizzard model that happened a long time ago, and that was we release it when it's done. They didn't give release dates for a reason. They didn't release it until it was done. And yeah, there are, there's always going to be bugs in a game of this scope. But not like this. Not where patches have obvious, obvious regressions or flaws that would have been seen pretty easily if the resources were given to the people doing the work. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to hear more rants about technology or just World of Warcraft in general, because my rants are not always technical. Sometimes they're, well, sometimes they're just rants. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.